Hi everyone, it's Margaret here with 60 and Me. Thank you so much for being here today. 60 and Me is a community of women over 60 who are still loving to play with makeup, skincare, and beauty products. And I have got a product to share with you today that I am just totally enchanted with and I want to share it with you. It's, um, it's a product that I've been watching for and when it was released, I ordered it immediately. And it's um, it's just an astounding product. And But I'm gonna show, as you can see, I have no makeup on. <laughs> We're starting completely from a, a clean face and I want to just go through with you what my beauty regime is before I put my makeup on and share with you um, how to apply some of this makeup that is um, you know is so different than anything I've ever used before so starting off with uh, my face facial oil now as many of you know I've been using this facial oil for years it's the growing younger gracefully um, a facial serum and I'm gonna put some of that on first because it hydrates my skin so much and I love the scent. And it's just the perfect way to start a makeup application. Immediately your face starts to glow and I just love this product so much. But anyway, that's the first thing I do, really hydrate my skin. I've got 73 year old skin, so it's starting to get very dry and yes, the wrinkles are appearing and I'm kind of at peace with that. I think it's okay. I'm, I'm very happy with um, just having this opportunity to live my life in this um, you know, amazing time and, and with you, um, our community of 60 and Me women. So that's the first thing is the uh, facial oil. Um, the, I'm gonna put some moisturizer on. I'm gonna use the Emberlease um, uh, Lay uh, Concentrate. Uh, it's a French product. It's a very lightweight um, uh, moisturizer that I actually kind of use as a primer. I don't actually put primers on my skin too much because I don't want anything to dry it or add another layer. I'm happy with the facial oil and this um, Emberly's uh, moisturizer, which is beautiful. So that's the um, sort of the, the base that I'll use for my foundation. Now, I have a lot of beautiful foundations that I really do love, and I'm going to choose one today that's um, one, one of my all-time favorites. It's a number seven um, Boots brand from the UK, but you can get this now worldwide. This is the Hydra Luminous. Um, I also love their Lift and Luminous Illuminate, but I'm going to use this one today, and I've got a little surprise for you because... If you've been watching my makeup videos for the last maybe five or six years, I'm always the person that says, you know, who needs brushes? Brushes are just like, you know, just use any old brush and it's it's no problem. <laughs> well, I have become a convert to brushes because um, especially with this particular um, palette I'm going to use today, it's super important, I think, to have great brushes. And um, I, the, the line that I am using is BK Beauty. I've got a couple of others too, but BK Beauty very kindly sent me a collection of their brushes. Now, it's the first thing really that I've ever received in PR from a makeup company, I think. But um, it was one of these things that I had bought the foundation brush and I had a challenge with it. Um, and I had a customer service call and explain what was what was happening. And they were so responsive. And they sent me the whole line of, of brushes uh, to play with. <laughs> Here we are. And there's a few others mixed in there, but I'm gonna play with these today. Um, and starting with the foundation. Now, um, if you watch any other beauty bloggers, you're gonna hear them say, this is the best foundation brush I've ever used in my entire life. It's the BK Beauty 101. By the way, these have been used, so they've got a little bit of uh, product on them. And um, this is a nice, it's very dense. It's very, um, uh, was a dense and, and great uh, texture. So you can put foundation on with this super easily and it's really good, I love it. But I'm going to use the 106, which is actually a smaller, it's not, it is dense, but it's a smaller brush and I'm just gonna use that to apply my um, foundation. And there's, there's with their brushes, there's like lots of options, like you don't have to use this one for this purpose, but there's some guidance about, you know, what's best. These are the, the two that they recommend are good for foundation. So I'm going to just pop this um, foundation. It's almost gone actually. I've, I've almost used all of this product. So I'm gonna be gently squeezing it out and hopefully there'll be enough to do my full face. I'm gonna put little bits of foundation just around. And then I can always go back in and um, update. But here's the brush. I'm gonna just start to buff. Well, not really buff it. I'm kind of like pressing it in. And you can see, the, the reason I chose this particular foundation is it's a perfect color for me. It's just an absolutely perfect color. So I'm going to just, and, and the texture is good. And it's hydrating. 
so it's actually a very nice foundation. So I'm going to just blend this in with my number 106 VK Beauty brush. I'm going to bring it up over the eyes and under my eyes too. I'm actually not going to use a concealer today. I just decided, you know, I've got so many concealers that I use for various um, pro um, times and I've tried different things. But honestly, in my opinion, if you have a good uh, foundation uh, like this one, that's a good uh, texture, you don't, you can just use that as a, as a concealer. When you're 73, you know, you've got wrinkles under your eyes that no concealer is going to hide. So I'm just um, being very conscious of that and start. I just realized I haven't got my um, my light on here. I'm going to just try because it's actually quite a bright, sunny day. Okay, I'm going to leave that light on because I think that does make a difference in uh, seeing the, the color of the, of the, and the and the hydration of the um, foundation. Okay, so let me just... Now, I think, actually, to be honest, I don't want to layer too much um, stuff on my face. So I think, actually, to be honest, it's hidden my, <laughs> my very elusive age spot there. And I'm going to just... Uh, Make sure it's all kind of pressed in. Now, I'm going to use another primer for my eyes in a second, but this is just for now, I think this is perfect. Okay, so that's foundation, and I didn't use very much at all. I'll bring it down on my neck. Okay, so that's foundation. Thank you so much, Boots Number 7. <laughs> I love your products. They're amazing. All right, and very good for older skin. So let's go um, on and just do a quick um, eyebrows because my eyebrows, as you know, I've, are my favorite thing to you know to deal with. I, I don't have many left, and the colors are is getting my eyebrows are getting grayer and thinner. But I'm going to use my MSM um, mascara wand and just give my eyebrows a bit of a shape here. And it's got a nice spoolie, and it's got a good color for me. It's kind of a taupey um, brown. And I'm going to just bring it a little darker on the edge because that's where I want the, the focus to be. Now, I, I know you're all waiting for me to introduce this new product to you because it's really magical. And it's uh, it's something that I think you're, you're gonna really enjoy. But um, let me just finish this eyebrow. Okay, so let me while I'm doing this, I'm going to explain what the product is. Um, the palette that I purchased is by um, Hindash. Hindash is a Jordanian um, artist. He actually started his career as an artist and he's got um, his his pictures, his paintings in galleries, in 20 different galleries all around the world. So he, that's his background. And he, about um, a year ago, brought out a, pa a package called, or a, a palette called Butopsy. Butopsy was a neutral matte palette for eyes and really for cheek contouring, all kinds of things. I'm just going to make sure I've got this. Um, anyway, he's an amazing person and a very um, likable human being. <laughs> He has this little dog, a tin, uh, I think it's called Timmy, who he holds on his lap uh, as he's demonstrating his products. And he's just, a, he seems a very genuine human being, but he's an artist. That was where he started. Butoxy was very popular. And in a way, um, you have to consider it kind of a luxury line because it's not an, uh, an affordable. It's a $70 palette. And the one I'm going to show you today is also the newest one he's released. It's called Monochromance. Monochromance. And it's um, a totally different color. Uh, palette, but it's it's spectacular. I really, really love it. And I know that not everybody who's watching is going to want to jump on and out and buy a $70 eyeshadow face palette. But um, I just want to share it with you. I just think it's so, so pretty. And anyway, so he is Jordanian. He um, is based in Dubai, I believe. So I got my palette really quickly since I live in, in Europe. But um, let me start by, um, before I put the palette on, do a little bit of um, priming. I'm using the uh, by Mario and you can see the powder's almost gone, but um, I'm going to use his uh, concealer. I, I dab it between the two different colors and I'm going to place it on my lids, on my eyes. Um, I think I've mentioned many times to you guys that um, I don't go too crazy with, um, you know, trying to do um, eyeliner, winged eyeliners and all kinds of shading, but this particular palette makes it pretty easy to be creative. And so I'm just going to make sure that I've got a good cover. It's, you can see it's not too, you know, not too bright, but it gives a really firm um, foundation. I'm going to do one little thing with my concealer. Well, and what would be considered a concealer. I'm going to use a tiny bit of this under my eyes. Um, I've honestly, honestly found that a nice foundation is just as helpful with um, under eye. And you can see I've got definite bags under my eyes, dark shadows, dark 
in creases and I'm just dabbing that on and I'm going to use um, a brush from the um, BK Beauty line by um, Angie Hot and Flashy. Angie is a blogger. Uh, she was at, well, she collaborated with uh, BK Beauty to put together a, a line of, um, of brushes for the eyes. But this concealer brush that she included in the set is the I should, you know, I always should remember these numbers. I think it's a 306, A306. And can you see how kind of curve or um, uh, shape that is? It's perfect. It's a concealer brush. That is what it's designed to do. So I'm going to just dab that under my eyes, going into that little place in the corner there where I get shadows and just kind of gently pull it. It's not, you know, not dabbing it or dragging it. It's just taking that little bit of, um, well, in my case, foundation or concealer, whatever you like to actually... Um, you know, smooth it. Now, on that Mario uh, Eye Prep and Set pack or palette that I showed you, there is a powder, and the powder um, is part of the, the set. And I always take a little bit of that and put it on my eyes, both on the eyelid and also underneath. So I'm going to grab. I actually probably not supposed to do this. I don't know. I use the same concealer brush, and and just put some powder underneath my eyes, and. I mean, do you, do you guys have challenges with concealers? Has anybody actually found one that they really like? I'm going to put this on my lid too. The reason I do this powder on my lid is I um, I want to, I've got hooded eyes, not as bad as I could, I suppose, but I've got hooded eyes and uh, eyeshadow tends to creep up um, from the lid onto under the eye, um, eyebrows. So I'm going to just tap this with powder just to just to try to get a bit of um, solidity on my lid. Okay, what else do I need to show you now? I mean, in terms of lips, I'm gonna do all that later, so let's dive into this palette. Okay, Hindash. The packaging, uh, let's see, oh, that is the packaging, Hindash. <laughs> I had to keep it in the box because when I got this, it was like getting a jewel. The packaging is gorgeous. I mean, the sensibility of this um, whole creation is amazing. But I wanted to just open it with you because it's just, you know, it was a jewel. And, um, you know, I don't go too crazy about makeup. I, I get excited about it. I really love it. But, um, you know, I, I don't mean to be like over overly effusive, but um, isn't this beautiful? <laughs> Honestly, it's a, it's a long palette. It has a very nice long mirror, which I won't show you, but here is the palette itself. Okay, I'm going to, whoops, I'm trying to, there. Okay, now what's the first thing that you notice? Okay, the shades are gradations. They're actually, um, they, they go from a lighter color to a darker color in all these different colors. And I will try to close it just so you can get a focus on this particular palette. This is the, it's called um, Monochromance. And the way that you use this palette is you can use the colors as they are. I'll just do this one. I'm not going to do swatches because I just don't, um, so you can see that's a very light color that you can use as a base color. Uh, but then when you move across and you go to this darker shade here, you can see, I hope you can see the differences there. Okay, so the reason that this is such a beautiful palette is that you can, it's really very adaptable for just about any skin type, any skin color, because you can use the dark and light. And also you can play with um, gradating, uh, doing gradations of color on your eyes. And you could also use this color, for example, which I'm going to do as, um, as a contour or as a bronzer. And then of course, these two here can be used for blushes. This purple shading is amazing. And this, and they've got names, like, um, for example, the very light one is, I should turn this the right way up, shouldn't I? Um, it's Alter and Ego. So that particular one at the top is called Alter and Ego. Get it from the, in the light. And then they've got different names for the two sides of the, of the palette. So I'm going to play with this. Um, I, maybe what I'll do is take a picture of the swatches so that you can have a look at them. And I'll put it maybe at the end because I don't want to do it on my fingers. Because for one thing, I don't want to mess up this beautiful palette with you know, mixing the colors from either side. But I also at the same time want to, and I do want to be able to show you what you're getting if you are considering actually buying this, this amazing product. So um, but the, the shades are lovely. I'm playing with this for, well, really the first time. 
I mean, I, I played a little bit with it yesterday, just in terms of seeing what the colors look like on my face and playing a bit with the, with the eyeshadows, but I, I really haven't experimented much. And I think over the next uh, couple of months, I may do like some different eyes with this because today I'm going to stick with a pink um, shade because I like pink on my eyes. I think it suits my face color, I'm more of a cool color, but then, I, but then I might blend other things as well. Anyway, I'm rambling, but it's an important thing to share this kind of palette in a way that you understand um, you know that what you're what you're actually getting and also what how I'm going to use it So I'm just trying to mess with this mirror here Without trying to okay, so I'm going to start I'll tell you what I'm going to do and then and then I'll do it and then you you can go back to look at the palette later I'm going to use this very light color here to um, put on my eye as a base I'm going to use a combination of this darker brown with this lighter color for a bronze I'm going to use this one here the pink light and dark i'll mix those together probably for cheeks and i might even play with that um with this peach color as well but i'm going to use this pink the light pink on my eyes as well and then i'll just see what happens i um i'm not gonna i don't know the names well and oh sorry i'm covering my face here i don't know the um names of the of the shades well enough to be able to sort of you know list everyone i'll do my best but um, I just want to share this with you. I just wanted you to see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, one of the BK Beauty from Angie, one of the fluffy um, brushes. It's number, what is this one? Number uh, 303, A303. It's a fluffy brush. And I'm going to take that very light color, which is actually called Alter. And the other side is called Ego. So Alter Ego is that first very light color. And I'm going to just put this on the base of my eye or the eyelid. Now, can you see already the color it's such a natural um i think you know transition color as well as the way it's, it's the people refer to it but it's it's almost the color of your skin and and because as, as i said you've got a light and dark on the same um side on the same palette or the same pan you can actually do this um okay so there's and actually i think i'll bring that up um because it's not going to create a line which is what i don't want to do okay so that's the that's the base color, Alter, as in Alter Ego. Then I'm going to take this uh, next color down, which is called um, uh, Match um, Match Made, is, the, is that next darker uh, brown color. I'm going to take the that brown that's the, I don't know if I can do this without, the, this one right here. And just use a little bit of a smaller brush, if I can find one. This one here from BK Beauty, this is the, um, 106. I'm going to take that little bit darker color and mix it with Ego. So Made Ego. And I'm going to put that a little bit above, just there. I'm going to look straight. I should actually keep my eyes open, I think, rather than close them, because then I can see where it's coming on that hooded section. And I think that's, you can start to see. These are all mattes, this um, palette. Every shade in the in the palette is matte, so uh, it's not sparkly. It's actually really really perfect <laughs> for older women. And um, you know, Hin Dash is an artist, so when he and I say I say that with a bit of a downturn in my voice, but the point is, I mean, he, he his models are twenty years old and they're absolutely gorgeous, and <laughs> it's really hard to say, oh, this will look great on seventy three year old eyes, but it it's so super easy to apply he's got some other um products in that line too actually i should just use this mirror to see what i'm doing um a uh, uh, beautiful chocolate brown liner it's really cool i didn't get it but i think i'm going to but um anyway i think that's the next step then i'm going to take um because i don't have his liner i'm going to take a very very small brush i've got a super super tiny one can you see how tiny this is and use it for a liner and i'm going to use that dark color called uh, made I'm just going to dab it in and put it along the base of my eyes. I'm not super, super good with liners. And of course, my eyes, I've got, you know, some, um, what do you call it? Some wrinkles and folds. But I'm putting enough on that I'm getting into my the, the, the lashes. And I'm not going to do any kind of a liner or like a wing or anything, but I'm going to bring it right to the end. And... And do the other side. I can do this without. It's kind of tricky into my phone here, but I think you can see this without me. Um, maybe I'll just try to do it with a touch. 
And you know, when you're doing a liner like this and you're pushing it into your, into your lashes, it really doesn't matter if you've got a little bit of smudge there. I'm just making sure I've got that sort of on both sides. I'm gonna play with this some more though to make sure I'm, I'm doing this right because I watched a video of his, oh, excuse me, of his this morning. And um, of course it was him applying it, which is, he's the expert. <laughs> But anyway, so I think that's good for um, for that part. Now, I'm going to take that um, brush that was kind of a flat brush, if I can find it, and go back in now with, um, here it is, where's it gone? With a little bit more dark in the, in the edge there. So I'm going to just pull this out just a tiny bit to give some depth. These are really, really nice uh, powders, by the way. I'm just kind of I'm, I'm amazed. I'm bringing it across my lashes as well. And, you know, it's interesting. I'm not I'm not pushing that hard and I'm doing this deliberately to be kind of, you know, subtle about it. But I actually could go quite darker if I wanted to. And I'm just to, kind of pulling that in. OK, now I'm going to take the other side of this brush um, and turn it over and use the pink, that very light pink called Heavy. Heavy is the light color. Petal is the darker one. And I'm going to just take the light one. Now, I have put this on my eye before, so I kind of know what to expect which is, it's just so, so pretty. Can you see that? It's honestly, I'm just enjoying this palette so much. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more on because I want to show you this color. And my, I'm gonna use this for blush too. So it will be kind of a, a, a monochrome look, which is what this whole thing is about. So I'm going to, I'm sorry that I keep putting that palette in front of my eye because um, I'm looking in the mirror there and realizing that it's blocking your view but um this pink is so 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 pretty and and that's the thing it's not overly garish like it's not like you've got pink eyes all of a sudden it's really really pretty and i'm going to just bring it up a teeny bit i'm going to take that darker color um the darker pink and i'm going to find another small brush um this is another one from the angie hot and flashy i'm going into that very dark um section and i'm going to just bring that oh like almost like a monochrome a little bit into just I'm experimenting with how hard I can push here on the palette but can you see I'm bringing that a little bit darker to over top of the brown okay I'll try the other side here I do hope this is visible to you what I'm what I'm trying to achieve I've got the lighter pink on the inside and then the darker pink just on that edge he also, um, this, uh, oh, yeah, oh, that's actually darker. And I can see now where I've, I've, it's really, really delicate, but I'm going to try to do this properly. Now, the thing that I've done here is put too, uh, dark at the side, maybe a little bit too much, but what you can do is go back in with that um, light color, the alter color, and you can tone down anything that you've done. So I'm going to put a little bit um, of the lighter color right here, this alter color. And you can see how that's immediately kind of toned it down a bit. I realize I'm taking longer on this video than I normally would, but um, this is what happens when you try to do like a first impression um, application because it's just, I, I mean, I'm literally learning as I go. But um, anyway, that's the eyes. I think that's really, really pretty. And these, he also brought out a um, uh, kind of an illuminating liquid eye, eye sh um, shadow called Boys, Toy, uh, Boys, Toys, Boys, Boys Tears. And um, it's it's really pretty too. And then you could just put that over top of the eyes. But I'm going to put my Rare Beauty mascara on, and let's just finish with the eyes for now. I I really like what what it's how it's turned out. Let me grab my mirror here. So I hope you're all doing well. <laughs> I realize that there's lots more on your mind than than makeup right now. But um, I'm just going to put this makeup or this uh, mascara on. For me, I don't know. You know, I never used to wear a ton of makeup, but for me now, it's kind of a great es escape and just a joyful appreciation of beauty and color. I mean, Hindash is a painter. I mean, he's actually an artist. So he understands color and he understands um, how to use it. Isn't this a nice mascara, by the way? <laughs> just changing the subject slightly. Um, but um, for me, you know, I'm not an artist, so in the sense that I don't use paints and paint pots and color, but I do appreciate um, gradations of color and use being able to use it in a way that's uh, you know just unique totally unique and I actually think that this has turned out really nice it's a kind of an eye look that I could go out into the world with let me just finish this mascara tricky to do while I talk <laughs> not good at multitasking but I do like this uh, Rare Beauty 
mascara. It's kind of my favorite at the moment. Now, when you watch Hindash's um, demonstrations on his website, he puts uh, lots of stuff on the bottom of the eye. I never put anything on the bottom of my eye. I just figured this is enough. But I want to put some blush on and show you what this, how you can use this palette for contouring and blushing. And uh, it's getting warm. It's so nice. Spring is on the way. And um, I'm going to use a smaller brush. I've got, um, let's see, I've got this one here from Hot and Flash, Angie Hot and Flashy, which is a contour brush. It's got a, like, a, and I use it for bronzer. I use it for um, shading, not not contouring, but just um, kind of just a, a, a gradation of color here. And I'm going to use the Alter, which is that very light color, and then uh, Made, which is the darker brown. I hope I'm, I'm not going to get the color wrong here. Okay. I, I did experiment with this last night and I think it works. It's just a little bit of kind of a shading under my cheeks, but this is using the same palette, which I think is such a nice um, idea. I'm gonna just grab some more here, try to get an equal amount on both sides. And you know, when Hindash does his, his um, uh, applications, he puts on the nose and he goes up here and it's just very sensual to watch actually, because he's such a great uh, uh, artist, but, um, yeah, so I think that's enough. And then I'm going to take some of the darker one, which is the Made, put it on the edge of the other edge of this brush and go underneath my chin because I am working on the basis that shadows will work to <laughs> hide some of the, of the uh, creasing there. But that's good. I'll just bring it down. But so this is all using products from this um, from this palette. I hope you can see that a little bit darker. Now I'm going to take um, a, a, pal um, a powder brush which is the BK, I'm using the BK Beauty 107, and you can see I've already used it. And I'm going to take the very light pink, the, the one that's called Heavy, which it isn't, but and I'm going to apply it to my cheeks. Now, I found with this, this blush, that you, you honestly have to just go easy and just dab it. You don't want to be streaking it across. It's all powder, so there's no creams here. And I'm not going to apply any more powder because it's, which, can you see that how that's emerging? I'm just going to take the, the light color right at the moment. But as you, as you do your lips and you kind of fill in a bit, you might feel like you want more, more blush. But, um, oh, I love this palette so much. You know, it's really funny. I always say, don't think to myself, well, if I had to grab one thing, you know, as I ran out the door, um, I would, this would be it now. I mean, honestly, it's just magical. And with the eyes, you can see. I wish I was a better makeup um, applicator, applier, because I could I could show you even more. Oh, I think that's so, so pretty. All right, I'm going to leave it like that for just this minute. Um, I actually, when, when I was watching the Hindash application, he actually mixed a bit of the peach uh, and kind of custom made a color, but I'm going to leave it with the pink for now and maybe come back in in a second and, and make it a bit darker. But for now, this is perfect. Lips, okay, lips. I have fallen in love absolutely with my Essence uh, lip liner. It is uh, it's an affordable drugstore brand, but I just think it's a wonderful lip liner. Sun's peeping in in a minute. Uh -huh. Now Hindash does his own lip liners too, but I'm gonna just use this Essence one, which is it's called Be Curious. That's the, the color that I use. And my lipstick is going to be my favorite, Eveline, drugstore product, number 488 from Turkey. <laughs> this is a lovely lipstick, less than $5. Okay, that I think looks really pretty with the, with the blush and I'm going to use some of my um, Vivian Sabo uh, gloss. This is number, um, what is it, number 54, and it's in this line called Confiture. Confiture, which I think means goodies, sweets. Okay, I love that combination. <laughs> it's my very favorite. And it's kind of interesting, actually, that I'm doing a look with this beautiful Hindash uh, palette, which is $70, with my uh, drugstore lip liners and my drugstore lipsticks. But anyway, that's what it is. Do you know, I just don't think I'm going to add anything to that. I just think I love the color that I've achieved there with the blush. I Hindash, thank you if you're watching. <laughs> I don't know who's watching this, but I just want to thank the, uh, him for doing this palette. It's just a, it's a true joy to work with. And also, um, BK Beauty brushes have worked really well. I think I've done a good job of, um, of bringing it all together and showing you how I use them. I'm learning. 
Have a really lovely day. Thank you so, so much for being here. Know that you are loved, that you are respected, and I, I just am in admiration of all of the women in our community. We're, we're living the best times of our lives right now in challenging times, and I just hope that you're doing well, staying safe and strong, and that you enjoyed this makeup application. Sending you all lots and lots of love. Bye-bye for now.